Does God create evil? This seems like a clear and simple answer if you look at Isaiah 45, 7. In the KJV, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I'm going to share how to understand Isaiah 45, 7, but first, let me just point out, it's interesting for me to see a critic of the Bible use this verse as if to conclude, therefore God is not good and I don't like him. And the fact is, there are dozens of verses that tell us plainly that God is good. And yet this one verse is sometimes used as if none of those other verses exist. If the Bible is true, then yeah, Isaiah 45, 7 is true. But so is 1 Chronicles 16, 34, Psalm 25, 8, Mark 10, 18, and on and on we could go. If the Bible is true, then God is good because the Bible says God is good and it never says God is not good. All those other passages that seem to imply God is not good, like Isaiah 45, 7, must somehow fit into the goodness of God if the Bible is true. If it's true, then a closer investigation will reveal that to be the case. And I went into my Logos Bible study software and I checked the Hebrew word translated as evil by the KJV. It's the word ra, and the word has a fairly wide range of meanings. This means that there are options for how to translate that word, and the context is going to help you determine the best translation. I would argue that evil is not your best translation in Isaiah 45, 7. The ESV translation, for instance, says that God creates calamity. The NIV says that God creates disaster. The NLT says that God creates bad times. Notice that these alternative translations are not moral or ethical words like the word evil. If a tree falls on a busy road, that's bad, but it's not evil. It's hard to imagine that when Isaiah used the word ra in this instance, he wanted to tell his audience that God is an evildoer. And so I think that these other translations are onto something. You look at the context in Isaiah 45, God is expressing how he is above all things. There is no other like him. He is the supreme creator. So here's Isaiah expressing God's supremacy, saying, I am the Lord and there is no other. I form light and create darkness. I make well-being and create calamity. God is not talking about his moral goodness here. He is pairing together opposites, light and darkness, peace and disaster, to show his supreme power to create and oversee all things. We should look elsewhere to learn about God's moral goodness. This does, of course, leave us wondering, well, why would a good God allow or even create calamity or disaster, like destroying the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah or the plagues of Egypt? I mean, these have to do with judgment. And I have a different video where I show that a good God has good reasons for this. So check that out. I'll leave that in the description for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.